Hello folks, I'm Greg Steen. I'm the host of Truth For Seniors TV and um, glad to take a few minutes today and share with you uh, a great cause and a good friend. Many of you that are viewing this video are currently helping people in great ways, uh, especially seniors, and you're doing a great job. I want to tell you something about uh, an opportunity that we have today I think is really, really great. Um, I'm sure that you know that uh, Alzheimer's is one of the worst diseases that families can deal with and uh, that it affects literally millions of people in the U.S. and in the world, but thousands right here in the Central Valley where we all live and work. And so if you're like me, I know that uh, you are probably, and you're always looking for ways to make a positive impact to really change people's lives. And, and, and you're already doing a great job. We know that. but. I want to tell you about something else. I'm really excited about it. Uh, next Friday, September 26th, is one of my favorite events. I look forward to it every year. It's the annual Alzheimer's Foundation Golf Tournament held out at Madera Municipal. And um, with me today is Marie Espinola. I'm sure most of you know Marie. She's the executive director of the uh, Alzheimer's Foundation of Central California. And this is the Central Valley's Foundation. And um, so I want to welcome you first. Thank you very I much. Thank you, betcha. And uh, I want to take a few minutes because I have not only played in the tournament, it's a great tournament, I love to golf, but the foundation I have benefited personally from, a lot of my clients, uh, Maria's done just an incredible job and made a real, real difference. Um, and I think gone over and above uh, in a lot of cases and so I want to talk just a minute before we get into the details of the the opportunity that we're going to tell people about, but um, a little bit about the foundation. I know all your services are free. Right. There's no charge for any of our services. And uh, I know that all the money that gets raised um, or that, you know, when people donate or, or fundraising, it stays right here in the Central Valley, doesn't it? It does. It goes right back into our programs that provide services in Merced County, Madera County, Fresno, and Tulare County. Wow. Wow, so you're on the road a lot. I'm on the road a lot. I have a huge <laughs> gas bill. <laughs> yeah, and I know that you take care of people on the weekends, after hours, because a lot of times caregivers can't meet, you know, right. until after work or on the weekends. And so, but some of the things that you do locally is you provide support groups. I do. Uh, several of them, don't you? I do. I do about seven support group meetings here in Fresno. I do Merced, Madera, and Tulare support wow. meetings and also meet with families as you said when and when the, the the adult children may be able to come into the picture to help mom and dad or whatever mm -hmm. um, it's just really important to go to the people where they are mm -hmm. because they have enough on their plate right now they just yeah. need some help <laughs> that can step in and, and give them some direction that first of all isn't going to cost them anything and secondly that uh, I, I feel like I have a really good referral source that I can refer them to to, to services that are Absolutely. either low income or no cost in the community Community that they wouldn't otherwise be aware of absolutely and and that's mm -hmm. to me that's critical because as you guys all know and I know Marie knows when people are having to deal with uh, a loved one who's suffering from dementia of any kind or anything that's debilitating a lot of times they don't know where to start and, and who to talk to and, and, and who's really gonna help them uh, but you already have all that network together right. and, and you right. know you can save people a lot of time and and so um, so how long has the foundation been active? I actually opened the doors of the foundation 14 years ago this July 1st. Wow. And uh, it, was, it was quite an experience, first of mm -hmm. all, to even find an office space <laughs> and get a telephone number. Mm. But since then, we've been able to help lots of families. And, and, you know, one of the things I think that's really important is that when you're dealing with something as devastating as this disease is, and it, and it affects a whole family, it doesn't mm -hmm. just affect the, the, right. the person with the disease, that, that there's not enough time or enough energy to even look into these other programs, That's even true. if they did know about them. And many times I can cut to the chase. I had a gentleman yesterday that had an issue and I said, let me make a phone call for you. So I made a phone call and put him in touch with, with a service that was mm -hmm. available. He didn't even feel like making the phone call. Mm -hmm. And so many times they're in such crisis and their need is so urgent that it's, it's overwhelming, you know, and, and again, so that, that helps tremendously. So. And I, I think one of the things that kind of ties into our upcoming event, too, is that we have such a great 
array of services in our community mm -hmm. that are either low cost or no cost. And, and these people are local people. They're giving back to local organizations and helping people in the mm -hmm. community that their business is in. So I feel good about being able to refer people to these different businesses that can help them and knowing that they're going to turn around and help people in many other ways, too. Absolutely. I think that's awesome. And I know that, uh, you know, when I look at nonprofits for my clients, one of the things that we look at is how much of the money actually stays in for the services and, and, and uh, support that they provide. Um, and, you know, an, a, a fairly decent average might be maybe 60, 70 percent, but with you it's it's probably closer to 90 percent. Yes, it is. If not a little higher. Yes, it is. You do an incredible job. Mm -hmm. And folks, if you're looking for uh, a group that really does do what they say, and they put all the money back into helping people. The Alzheimer's Foundation, uh, the local foundation, is really tops, in my opinion. And we've talked about uh, this before. Um, you, you can't put your money in a better cause, in my opinion. Thank so, you. Now, Friday, that's a week from, uh, <clears throat> a week from tomorrow. It's at Madera Muni. And um, it's not too late, folks. You can get a foursome. You can donate. You can provide raffle gifts. Um, you can actually do a lot of things. But I want to tell you, as far as, you know, for the, those of you that are golfers or, or your company wants a sponsor, as far as golf tournaments go, this is one of the very best because you're getting uh, a shotgun start, which is a great way to play. You've got lunch provided by Harris Ranch. Um, you've got dinner provided by Harris Ranch. Uh, it's an awesome dinner, an awesome lunch. You've got great raffle prizes. But in addition, you've got complimentary beverages all day, all day. so you don't have to pay for them. Uh, you've got opportunity for people to win a Las Vegas trip. Correct. You've got some games on a lot of the different holes, casino hole, hole in one, longest drive. You've got a pro out there doing some things, having some fun. Um, and, and that's just a, a great way to have fun, but also to really put your money into something that's a great cause. And so it's not too late. we got great sponsors. You can see behind us, Golden Living. Uh, Fresno and Golden Living Country View are the main sponsors, and we appreciate that. But also great companies, uh, Summerford Place, Cottonwood Court, Oakmont, Assisted Living and Memory Care, Central Valley Community Bank, Bella Vista Memory Care. I know you would say thank you, as I, as I would to all of them. And there's mm -hmm. others. Um, and so I wanted to say real quickly that uh, one of the special things this year um, – is the veterans program right, right tell us about that real quick okay we uh identified you know the new veterans home is open mm -hmm. and they are going to be opening soon hopefully their dementia unit for mm -hmm. veterans and their spouses that, that might have some dementia issues and so uh one of our one of our committee members and i don't even remember who it was that brought it up it says why don't we look at seeing if we could get some sponsors that would be willing to sponsor a vet and so as of now, we have a couple of foursomes that are being sponsored, wow. and they're being sponsored actually by individual businesses. So you don't have to sponsor a full foursome. You mm -hmm. can sponsor a vet. And right now, the vets that we have out there that, that we know of right now are coming to us from the Wounded Warrior Program. Wow. So they're going to be wow. out there. And so if a business or an individual that isn't interested in golfing, isn't interested in providing uh, raffle gifts, any of those things, but they would like to do something great for a, for a vet mm. uh, for $150, they can sponsor a vet, and that provides his lunch, golf, dinner, beverages the whole day and we will be honoring our vets that evening wow wow that's awesome i mean that's there's just a lot packed into what you yeah. can you can do so mm -hmm. all right so folks it's not too late appreciate your time appreciate you marie um but let's let's think about this and let's put together something we can all chip in you can join me we can chip in we can have a great time next friday for the Alzheimer's Foundation's annual golf tournament, and um, I hope you'll be a part of it. So thanks for your time. Thank you. CentralValleyTalk.com